Hi and welcome to the new video on industrial instrumentation and automation. So in this video, I'll be continuing our discussion with programmable logic controllers. So in the last video, I have discussed about the basic architecture of PLC. Now we'll discuss about the different types of PLC. Different types of PLC. Different types of PLC. Different types of PLC. IO configuration is under type uh, case. Anu. Fixed modular. Padha nyana would have deshna this so a fixed nyanada unitary PLC in the parana, the pole modular and modular uh IOL line modular PLC in the parano. Then I'll discuss about uh, what uh, different input output uh, parameters or specification. Then also I'll discuss about the comparison of PLC with uh, personal computer or PC. Okay, so we'll start with the PLC types. Basically, it ha we have unitary PLCs and Modular PLCs and in unitary PLCs, uh, in which the input and output uh, uh, ports are fixed or which are included along with the uh, PLC or the processor or embedded with the processor, it has a supply, power supply, CPU, a limited number of inputs and outputs, generally 20 inputs and 12 outputs in a 32 IO. IO unitary PLC. Okay, Padalu power supply, CPU, input output, or mixture or the module itana where another. So 32 IO case learning 20 inputs and 12 outputs are and sometimes it, it is also called show box type or single box type or brick brick type or the cut itana where another in Luru Arthatil. Okay, so mainly it is used for controlling of small scale systems and when coming to modular PLC. It can be constructed using separate modules of power supply, CPU, inputs, outputs, timers, counters, ADC, DAC, expansion modules, etc. So you can include whichever modules you want or you can choose between the modules. If you want timers, you can include the timer module. If you want a counter for your particular application, you can include the counter in that uh, in that case. Otherwise, you need not include. So there is a flexibility to choose between the modules which you are going to use for your particular application. But in the previous case, everything was fixed and there are not much of uh, uh, additional components or modules available and uh, it is the modular plcs are also called as rack mounted type plc it is basically rack type plc you can add or remove the modules from the rack or to or from the rack typically such plcs might have 6 8 12 or 24 inputs and normally 4 8 or 16 outputs and a memory that can store some 300 to 1000 instructions and more nowadays it can be even more Okay, and it is basically subdivided into small, medium and large PLC. So the uh, number of instructions and the input output uh, changes based on the uh, level, small, medium or large. Okay, so that is the basic uh, differences between the unitary or fixed PLC and the modular PLC. So these are general uh, unitary PLC structures uh, for with different manufacturers like Siemens, Mitsubishi, Zilio, Tegomat, Omron. Now, this uh, is a representation of a modular PLC in which uh, the different modules are separated. Expansion IO unit is there. Again, expansion IO unit. Again, expansion IO unit. AC, DC, power supply modules, uh, etc. Everything is there which can be connected, added, or removed. Okay. So, these are some of the uh, commercially available modular PLCs by Siemens S7 uh, this is Omron this is Eton this is Mitsubishi here you can as you can see you can uh, take it in or take out or take uh, or push it in the modules okay so this is one specific module so here all the modules are available you can either uh, take it out or you can include depending on your requirement okay Simple chassis are in the Kanchadana, supply, supper supply, and the island diacum, CPU and diacum interface module. Pinidile or modules are cam, other counter air cam, ADC air cam, input module air cam, output module air cam, whatever you can choose based on your application. Ponodin Kanchadana, power supply, the communication module on the controller on Idana, IO modules. Okay, so then modular PLC. Now, the advantages of PLC, we'll discuss about some of the advantages of PLCs. It is basically cost effective. Then flexibility and ability to use similar systems for other purposes 
and again programming interface is easier in comparison to other processors back to processors net compare the programming interface comparatively easier on plc the case and it is resistant to impact and vibration and resistant towards electrical and mechanical noise as well and it is also able to work at very high temperatures okay now we will compare between PLC and PC, PLC and program, uh, personal computer. So a PLC is a digital computer used to control electromechanical processes usually in an in industrial environment. Okay. So it performs both discrete and continuous control function. Discrete and generally we are going to continuous control function is possible. Generally sequence and logic control is used in PLC. And after all, computers are used to control things. They can even run a software PLC. Computer can run a software PLC. So now we are going to points at the end of the First, first of all, it has a physical input output. Physical IOs are present. Okay, accessible idler. electrical inputs and output outputs bring real world information into the system and controlled real world devices based on the information and the uh, program. Okay, so a PLC's input can be thought of as sensors like vision and touch, and output can be thought of as arms and legs. For physically available on input and output available on and it is deterministic deterministic and probabilistic color deterministic and uh, the process uh, and process of information and reacts to it within defined time limit defined time limit into the process is the uh, output theorem in another part another control action on the other one so PLC is operate on a time scale of milliseconds or even microseconds so even microseconds first right like you'll see the other frequency can search it in the more department and I don't know then it is often modular modular type ana adhigum you see in the, it can have input output modules communication modules or other special purpose modules added to it for expansion okay nammal already parannu modular case il aanu id applicable aanu and plc's may also take the form of a computer or a small single module and the next point is one of the major difference between plc and pc is the way in which the programs are developed and executed a plc usually follows a scan based program execution scan based program execution and input scan ji detana execution nadandondirikkana plc le whereas pc softwares are actually event driven or event nadakkane nanusarichu aanu avade adinde idu varunathu pakshe ivade eppol or scan aanu scan input scan nanusarichu scan cycle gal aanu idu varunathu and plcs are program using languages like ladder logic or proprietary vendor language uh, ladder logic program and the gunda all are simple and then color simple to the chi and uh, and the prayer uh, other uh, code in the dark and in comparison with the pc based programs which use c c plus plus etc but the question would be complicated on it of one other level and software and hardware are platform specific platform specific kind of software and hardware the components and programming software usually can be used or particular thing the manufacturer the wearable manufacturer and it is compatibility in the software and hardware platform specific either one do okay and there are uh, exceptions however at the chalak is really jalap and the barrier much lower right to be we can put in the room and i can see even seen the jalap mitsubishi night to be we can put liana no they should actually pc and get the value issues where in the land it is uh, rugged and designed for use in industry environment to run 24 by 7 and are designed to resist harsh physical and electrical environment. And the initial cost of a PC based solution may be higher than a PLC one, but whenever demanding calculations and complex network loads need to be processed, a PC based program is more cost effective. And in comparison with PLCs, uh, may be initially cheap, uh, but as the processing power increases, their cost follows an exponential trend. But chere, ah, uh, okay, cheap paano, but she kudun doorum PLC dim the kudi kundi kipa. But higher pro the pro computational requirement ko erani PC based system then yana better cost effective na na parai na Then PLCs do not require excess of protection equipment to increase their ruggedness and shielding. Okay, and in comparison, a PC may require considerable investment on shielding it from harsh environments and effects so that the maximum uptime can be guaranteed. But PLC ke ki protection da avisham erinil and PCs have a higher cost than PLCs when no external peripheral need to be added as the PLCs usually support standard industrial equipments. 
and however when a solution requires a plethora of external controls a pc based solution is much suiter than suiter than plc based one okay so adu nammal depend cheyum ore advantages plc ki parane yellow ultimately nammalde application um requirement um kanusarichirikkum plc based aano pc based aano nammal control ilekku povunnathu ennallathu okay so this is simple comparison uh of the memory power supply inputs output softwares and uh, uh, internal connection okay so memory edukka type aanu computer lum plc lum undavu annalana varnittullathu hard disk computer le undavullu hard disk plc ki undavilla power supply randathil almost is adine ac supply kodukka adinu kodukka normally 24 dc lum volt dc lum work cheyanaanu input indinte keyboard mouse remote okkana matte indinte sensor a cases la push button selector switch limit anganthe saanangal aayirikkam output nu parayunnathu indinte monitor print aanu pashe adu real life real process sambhavangal aanu so node release lamps adakke aayirikkum then software os windows ms office adakke aayirikka appuratha firmware endha parayam machine logic aayirikka okay appo inganta karyangal aanu idile pinne undavunnathu calculators okke undavum at the time room counter room adc okke namukku avade available aayirikkum okay so ini indinte typical parameters aanu input indeyum output module indey analog input module indey analog output module indey parameters paladum ivada kaanichittunnalu etra input undu ennalad kaanichittunnavum galvanic isolation undo illi ennalad par specify cheyittundavum input range voltage inde current inde specify cheyittundavum adepole input impedance various range illu parangittundavum sensor connections parangittundavum data format idekkana normally idil parayna parameters input side la parameters ഇതേപോലെ തന്നെ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് സൈഡിലെ പാരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് വരുന്നുണ്ട് എത്ര ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഗാൽവനിക് ഐസൊലേഷൻ ഉണ്ടോ ഔട്ട്പുട്ടിൻ്റെ റേഞ്ച് എന്താണ് ലോഡ് റെസിസ്റ്റൻസുകൾ ഏതാണ് അതേപോലെ ഡിജിറ്റൽ റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ എത്ര ബിറ്റിലാണ് കൺവേർഷൻ ടൈം എത്ര ടൈം എടുക്കുന്നത് ഷോർട്ട് സർക്യൂട്ട് പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഉണ്ടോ ഷോർട്ട് സർക്യൂട്ട് കറണ്ട് എത്രയാണ് അപ്രോക്സിമേറ്റ്ലി വരിക ഓപ്പൺ സർക്യൂട്ട് വോൾട്ടേജ് എത്രയാണ് ലീനിയാരിറ്റി കേബിൾ ലെങ്ത്ത് മാക്സിമം ഇതൊക്കെയാണ് ഔട്ട്പുട്ടിലെ സ്പെസിഫിക്കേഷൻസ് ആയിട്ട് നോർമലി പറയാറ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡഡ് ഇൻ ദിസ് പെർട